low gas prices have begotten hard times for hybrids. Even today's most efficient gas electrics, the Toyota Prius, the Kia Niro and the Hyundai Ioniq, don't pencil against less efficient, but much less expensive, non-hybrid counterparts in the same general class. And those are hybrids that top 50 mpg. The Toyota Highlander Hybrid SUV is an ever tougher spot, given that its EPA ratings are only a few mpg better than a regular Highlander. Updated for 2017, along with the rest of the Highlander's lineup, the hybrid as before marries a V6 engine to a 167 HP motor slash generator to power the front wheels, with a second 68 HP electric motor fitted to the rear axle providing on-demand all-wheel drive. The engine, however, is new and for the first time is shared with a non-hybrid Highlander. It now makes 295 horsepower and 263 pound-feet of torque. Improvements of 64 ponies and 48 pound-feet over the previous model, nudging the hybrid powertrain's total output, taking into account both electric motors, from 280 to 306 horsepower. Of the four Highlander hybrid trim levels, the base LE model boasts the highest EPA ratings. 29 mpg combined, 30 mpg city, and 28 mpg highway. Either way, compared with the all-wheel drive V6 Highlander, the hybrid's EPA estimates are only better by a few mpg. If there's a silver lining, is that the Highlander's hybrid price premium is smaller than most. The entry-level LE is only $2,130 more than all-wheel drive V6-powered Highlander. On the XLE trim, the hybrid's price penalty is just $1,350, whereas the Limited and Platinum hybrids are 1620 dearer than their gas-only counterparts. Oh yes, this hybrid is the quickest Highlander, reaching 60 mph in 7.0 seconds flat. That's 0.6 seconds quicker than the old hybrid, and 0.3 seconds quicker than the pre-refresh standard Highlander with the previous V6 engine. Still, we'd save the money and just buy the non-hybrid model, which also benefits from a more traditional driving experience. Accelerate quickly in the hybrid and the V6 and electric motors combined for a sort of mooning soundtrack, as the engine revs to its power peak and stays there while the transmission engages the optimum drive ratio. Despite the hybrid's AWD setup, there's a noticeable torque steer as the front wheels fight for purchase during hard acceleration. Up to about 30 mph, the hybrid feels peppy and quick. Above that speed, the sense of acceleration wanes as the electric motor loses wind and the V6 shoulders more of the burden. And this isn't entirely surprising. According to Toyota's weight figures, the battery-assisted Highlander Limited Hybrid is 310 pounds heavier than the equivalent non-hybrid. Dynamically, the three-row Highlander is an exciting with lifeless steering, occasionally floppy body motions and horrible brake fill. Toyota has yet to figure out how to transition smoothly from regenerative braking, wherein the electric motors act like mechanical brakes, converting kinetic energy into electricity to conventional friction braking via the brake rotors. The result is vague and unpredictable response from the brake pedal, although the hybrid's actual stopping distances are par for this class. Power strains aside, the hybrid follows the general Highlander script as a competent family hauler. All models glean cosmetic updates for 2017, including a wide mouth grille, more LED lighting accents front and rear, and a generally classier appearance overall. The cabin's assembly is high quality and handsome, and we like the wide shelf that spans most of the lower dash and is handy for storing everyday Detroiters. The Emirates include the touchscreen's distance from the driver, it's an easier reach for the front passenger, and the stubby audio, and the knobs that are nearly flush with the surrounding surface, and therefore difficult to grip. The Limited, along with the top and Limited Platinum model, comes with a pair of second-row captain's chairs and a third-row bench, but buyers can opt for three-person benches in both rows to seat eight in total on the LE and XLE. The Highlander's second row offers plenty of space, plus four and recline adjustments, although the seats have a rather low cushion, while a cramped third row is intolerable for anyone but small children. 
usefully, the third row, when folded, forms a clean rabbit with the cargo floor and the full flat second row chairs, so one can slide boxes or other heavy items in without snagging cargo or anything. At $46,000, with only extra cost floor mats and body slide moldings, the limited you see here isn't unreasonably expensive for a nicely equipped mid-size three-row crossover. Every 2017 Highlander now comes standard with forward collision warning, automated emergency braking and adaptive cruise control, and every trim above the base LE also has blind spot monitoring. The Limited adds heated and ventilated front seats, 19-inch wells, and more chrome exterior trim in addition to the sunroof, power front seats, power liftgate, and leather seats. So the Highlander Hybrid is every bit the practical and useful three-row family crossover that its gasoline-powered sibling is. And therein lies the rub. There's no compelling reason to pay extra for it, or to deal with its drivability quirks. The small fuel economy improvement is unlikely to be much of interest, especially when gas is so cheap. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.